All right. It's day two, or is it day three? Day three. It's Wednesday. Day three. Wednesday morning, 4 a.m. 4 a.m. We are attempting the big one, flat top here in the Rocky Mountain National Park. We lost two of our members, but that's all right. They bailed. Two they bailed. mates. We got uh, about seven miles from here. Weather's good until one, and then we got thunderstorms and lightning storms. So we're gonna start packing and get up there. Let's do it. One more sip of the magical hiking elixir, and we're off. Pretty cold. That's 4.30 a.m. Get an early start. Gonna hit some weather later on, but we're trying to get the top as soon as possible. We can enjoy it. All right, so we have gone one mile. We're making crazy progress. We're trying to get to this next viewpoint for sunrise. We're feeling very good, a little too good. This is uh, for educational purposes. This is a classic example of a Colorado post hole. It's kind of like quicksand. If I was by myself, I would just sink and probably die. But luckily I have Blake to help me up. Please help me. Found a nice little lookout here. The sun is just coming up. We're above these clouds, all this mist. It's an amazing view. We're making insane progress. We're probably gonna have tons of time on the summit. Currently at a mile, a mile and a half in. Uh, elevation gain 734 feet. And we're at uh, about an hour an hike hour. so far. All right. Killing it. We're killing it. Let's keep moving. came up, feels amazing, has some sunlight, it's lighting up the trees, giving us a little extra boost of energy. Gonna try to make it up to this next viewpoint before it's too high in the sky, but we're feeling great, man. And it is absolutely gorgeous out here. The birds are chirping, all you can hear is nature and us breathing pretty heavily. We'll see you at the top. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Postal. All right. We have just popped through the tree line. Got some amazing views. Weather's still awesome. We're gonna take a 20 minute break here, eat some food, some sandwiches. We're doing really good on time. Feeling great. We're feeling perfect, dude. But as you can see, we're above those clouds. The sun's roasting us. We're gonna throw some sunscreen on. But we found a nice little area. Then we're gonna make a big push to that summit right there. That's not the summit, but uh, that's another great lookout point, another checkpoint. So. We're gonna chill out here for a second, get back to it. Testing out this new Low Pro Trekker 550. It is insane. Literally has enough space to carry enough gear for the entire trip. Got everything I need in there. And then it's got this awesome little, this awesome little pouch up here. They can use really anything, but I have literally all my food in there. I got two sandwiches, three Cliff Bars, beef jerky, bananas, sausage. On this top pouch, I got my money clip, um, headlamp, my tripod, which the camera's on, goes right here. It's got a little hydro pouch, got a space for water bottle, and it is extremely comfortable. I've been trekking up here for two and a half hours, haven't even felt the thing. So, definitely my new go-to bag. Low Pro always gets it done. I hate sunscreen, it makes you feel oily, like a freaking seal. <laughs> but you gotta do it. Should've brought the cocoa butter up here, boy. Should've brought that cocoa. Did you just jam up, there we go. Shot of oxygen. Didn't even know this was a thing. I don't even know how to use it. Inhale, brother. Just inhale. There you go. My gosh, it's dripping down my face. Hate this crap. I hate sunscreen. I hate it. Dang it, man. I hate sunscreen. I hate it too. Man, that stuff's miserable. Honestly, I might need another hit. Uh, Sandwich time. Oh, yeah. Oh, I turned the light on. 
could open the door. Also, dehydrated bananas must have. Always have some dehydrated fruit. I used to hate mustard. Really? No, I love it. That's weird. Hmm. <laughs> oh, he's a baby. Like, how did he get up here? Oh, look how small he is. The more we eat, the lighter our bags get. I know, that's one thing. Look at that. Look at this. There's ducks. What the heck are they doing up here? Why are there ducks up here? We're now at the point where we need to equip our snowshoes because we are sinking like a horse in a big old pile of peanut butter. So Blake's getting his on. Basically, these are gonna help us glide on top of the snow without sinking in. Also making the trail safe for others. No one wants to walk up a trail full of post holes. So we're just doing our part. Yeah, I have no idea how to get these things on, to be honest. The maiden voyage. How are they, Blake? Honestly, I love them. <laughs> oh, 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 oh! <laughs> They're right there, that's a prime example. Yeah, man. See? Dude, whoever invented these needs an award. Look at him go, he's the snow traverser. Oh, brother wiped out. What happened, bro? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I've always done whatever I can to avoid snowshoes. After my last very painful trip to Norway, I was like, I'm not doing another snow hike again without snowshoes. So we got him. Let's try him out. Oh, no way. Oh, no way. Oh, these are insane. Take a leap. Go run. Kids, listen to your elders and put on snowshoes. I've gone 10 years, almost, avoiding them. And they're the best things I've ever had on my feet. About three quarters of the way in. As you can see, we're above the tree line on a crazy incline. The clouds are moving in. We're currently above those dudes. It's really cool. We're almost there. We're feeling good. We're about to be engulfed by these freaky looking clouds. Bit of a sticky situation here. We've been engulfed in the clouds, thick, thick clouds. It's a bit freaky. We kind of just sat down to brace for impact. Um, we can't see much of the trail now. As you can see, it's a total whiteout. So it's not bringing too much wind. We're going to keep on moving, at least get to the summit and see how we feel after that. We got 23 or 12,300 feet. Yeah, 12,000, about 12,400 feet in elevation. Give or take. Four and a half miles up. Four and a half miles up. Six hours. It's about 10 o'clock. Um, it's crazy up here. Unfortunately, the weather didn't let up. It's opening up a little bit here and there, but it's pretty dreary. So we're gonna turn back because we got some bad weather coming in in a few hours. Uh, we're gonna make the turnaround perfectly. Get down as fast as we can. It's freezing. It's freezing, and these gloves, <laughs> these things are literally the worst things ever. I can't feel my hands right now. We survived the hike. I was gonna film a little thing when we got down, but we were in so much pain, it wasn't gonna happen. Look at him. <laughs> it was not happening. Not happening. Let me tell you this, about 30 minutes, an hour after, about 30 minutes or an hour after, it was like lightning and there's hail. We totally would have died. But now we're at Yosef's Pie Shop, you know our buddy. We're gonna get some chocolate shakes. We're at, yes. oh. <laughs> we're at Yosef's Pie Shop, <laughs> getting some chicken tenders and milkshakes. No, you guys are. You're getting the chicken tenders, we're getting the milkshakes. I got a corn dog. This is Yosef, he's the hardest working man you'll ever meet. And he also wins this town. 
so beautiful. We love that man. Mm. We found the shape. I don't have to introduce him. This is Berke. We've been talking about him for days. We really have. You're kind of a celebrity among us. We found him in a pie shop. First we found him in a pub, then a pie shop. And now we're, he made our shakes, and they're so good. Thank you so much. I'm really glad to meet you all guys. You are perfect. And during the assess part, I had really great time and conversation yes. with you all. Come here again. Yep, yep. We had a little bit hard time in the uh, cousin pet, but at oh, least yes, now yes, everything yes, is yeah, fine. Yeah. <laughs> you guys were very concerned because they brought all of our food and we just stared at it for 45 minutes. And they're like just staring at us. But we were stressed. We ate it all. Yeah, yeah we did. Yeah.